Hi, my name is Johan, and I'm about to tell you a little bit of a trick how to to um, arrange your channels. Loading and plugins is quite a tedious task if you got a lot of them. Let's just check it out. It's my my channel section here. You see, I got three rows here of uh, channels. It's quite a, quite a tedious task to do this, but I've preloaded one plugin here to demonstrate this. Now what you need to do is that you have to get to the Explorer window like this and um, go to your hard disk. Now you need to know that to, to do this properly you need to create a, plug a folder where you store the, the Fruit, Lo Fruit Loop stats, stat files. You see in the same way as, uh, as a channel in the mixed tutorials by NFX. But this is another way to use them. So I've prepared a folder here with uh, with the VST plugins, with Scooter plugins, and now with uh, DirectX plugins. Not like that I have not like that I have done a DirectX, but <laughs> anyway. Each folder got two folders inside effects and instruments. And this is the VST folder I'm exploring right now. So let's take a look here. Here is uh, the instruments folder. So what you need to do to get this done right is that you create first these three folders. Then uh, you create. Uh, of course, you have to create a, create the parent folder first. <laughs> these three plugins, and these these three folders, these. Uh, folders here with effects and instruments. Then you can just go go on a, on a spree modifying the software, plugin the plugin folders. So say I need, I want a, a folder for old plugins. Just uh, I'm type uh, type name here. Sorry for the video quality. I'm shooting this with the cell phone, uh, Sony Ericsson uh, K750. So <laughs> just bear with it. I can't afford any more professional video cameras. So here we have the old school. Now there's nothing here. I can tell you one thing. We can get into the Fruit Loops Explorer, and as you can see, I got the plugins folder right here. Going to the VST plugins and into the instruments. Now I got the folder is created right here, right here for us, baby. So what we're gonna do now here is we're we gonna go into this icon here. <laughs> Old terminology, the system menu, which I prefer since it's actually what it is. We gotta save, save preset as, and. Um, now we're gonna go for go back and uh, into this uh, this folder structure, and we are entering the name here of the plugin name. Okay, it's a shitty, shitty plugin, uh, but no matter. Now, the f the pre the start is now saved. So what we do is close down the browser with F8, reopening it, going into the folder here, and voila! Here we have it. We can now remove the the channel here, and uh, yeah. Just uh, drag in the the new the new channel here. So you see, this is one one way you can do it. Let me just explore it a little bit more here. Here's the old school. We have the guitars here. Now, some plugins I had a system crash had to restart and reinstall everything. So some plugins are gone for me. Um, we got fist and physical modulation, and uh, you can just go for practically whatever whatever you want it to like that, you know.
So, <laughs> sorry since we're just going in here in my language. Pretty tired. So, we have your hip hop. And uh, in Fruit Loops, we got the uh, Wave Traveler here stored as. Uh, ah. Jeez. Well, that's the problem. We have. You have to be keep keep track on the files and uh, <laughs> resave them. Uh, that's what went out, happened here. Okay, so I'm gonna end my tutorial by saying good luck with your music production. And uh, this is Yobro Media signing off.